the multiplication of plant viruses starts by penetration of the virion into the cell. So, here the in plant viruses the life cycle starts from the penetration of the nucleic acid into the host cell. So, plant viruses are unable to penetrate the plant cuticle and cell wall as we know the plant having a cuticle and cell wall. So, to enter into the plant. So, here we are discussing plant viruses. So, the viruses which are infect plants. So, the plants which having cuticle and cell wall. So, to enter into the plant, this virus will have to pass through the cuticle and cell wall. So, here it is unable to penetrate. In plants, it is unable to penetrate through the cuticle and cell wall to enter into the plant cell. So, then how it can enter, how the virus which can be enter into the plant by means of a mechanical damage is any wound or injury which happened to the plant by a mechanical damage the cuticle and the cell wall is break through that breakage or through that wound this virus enter into the host cell or from that wound it can enter into the plant. And the next phase of viral infection is the partial or complete removal of the protein coat of the virion in the cytoplasm. Consider this as the bark and here the cell wall is there, cuticle is there. So, this virus need to enter into this host plant to multiply. So, the presence of cuticle and cell wall is there. So, it is unable to enter this virus into the plant cell. So, by means of mechanical damage, a wound or an injury which caused over this area and there is a wound there, through this wound, this virus enters into the cytoplasm. So, once it enters into the cytoplasm of the whose cell, it undergoes a partial or complete removal of the protein shell. So, so, this is a protein cell and this is the viral genome. So, once it enters into the cytoplasm, the protein coat or the protein coat has to be removed. Why the protein coat has to be removed? To release the nucleic acid into the host cell. So, next phase of virus infection is a partial or complete removal of the coat protein cell of the virion into the cytoplasm. Next, the cell mediates expression of the viral genome by providing a transcription apparatus for DNA viruses and a translation apparatus for all viruses. If the virus enters into the whose cell is DNA virus, from that DNA, mRNA is produced. For mRNA, for producing mRNA, transcription has to be carried out. So, next the cell mediates expression of the viral genome. Here the expression of the viral genome is carried out. If the virus enters into the host cell is DNA, having the genetic material has DNA, first it undergoes the mRNA transcription or the mRNA synthesis is carried out. Firstly, it undergoes the mRNA synthesis. If the virus is DNA, it is providing a transcription apparatus for the synthesis of mRNA, it provides the transcription apparatus, transcription apparatus, apparatus for the synthesis of mRNA. So, from the DNA, mRNA is synthesized inside the whole cell using the transcription apparatus. If the virus which possesses the genetic material as DNA and all and all viruses which possess a translation apparatus from the mRNA protein synthesis has to be carried out. So, whether it is whether it having DNA or RNA or viruses which possess the translation apparatus and for the transcription apparatus is specifically for the viruses which possess DNA as their genetic material and for protein synthesis translation apparatus is there and this translation apparatus is there for all the viruses. If it is the DNA from the DNA mRNA is 
transcribed and from that mRNA the proteins has to be translated. So this translation apparatus is for all the viruses and this transcription apparatus is for the viruses which possess DNA as the genetic material. And the DNA virus must be transported to the nucleus for transcription in order to gain access to the cell proteins required for the production of messenger RNA from viral DNA. If the virus enters into the plant is the uh, DNA, it has to be transported to the nucleus. If the virus enter is possess DNA as their genetic material, this virus has to be transported into the nucleus for required for the production of messenger RNA. It is transported to the nucleus for the production of messenger RNA for synthesizing messenger RNA. This DNA viruses are transported to the nucleus and on that nucleus by using the transcription apparatus the mRNA has to be transcribed and once the mRNA has to be transcribed the protein synthesis which has to be carried out or the translation process which has to be carried out after synthesizing the mRNA using the transcription apparatus. Translation of viral mRNA in the cytoplasm produces viral proteins that are required for the completion of viral life cycle. So if the virus possess RNA as their genetic material, it by using the translation apparatus, this viruses are produced in the cytoplasm and the protein synthesis which are takes place in the cytoplasm. Translation of viral mRNA in the cytoplasm produces viral proteins that are required for the completion of viral life cycle. So, if the virus which possess RNA as their genetic material, it is directly translated to complete the life cycle. For the completion of the life cycle, it need the viral proteins. This plant, need, uh, this viruses need uh, viral proteins for their completion. So, if uh, the virus which possess the uh, RNA as their genetic material, direct translation is carried out in the cytoplasm and if translation is carried out in the cytoplasm, it synthesizes or it produces the viral proteins that are needed for the completion of the virus life cycle.